Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to show you how we can use the combine values function inside of Power BI. I'm going to show you three different ways that we can use it. Now, it's not a difficult function to understand. It's very sim uh, similar to concatenate, concatenating your data. So if you've done any of that work in Excel, you'll know exactly what I mean. You can use a simple ampersand to join up uh, certain text values, but this is just a you know, it's, it's, it's a slightly nicer way to write it potentially. Um, so let's just work through a few examples and you can see how you can integrate it into your uh, Power BI um, DAX formulas. You can do it in a number of ways. I've done it in three ways here. I've, I've got in a calculated column. I've also done it in a calculated table and I've also used it in a measure, okay? So in this first example, basically what I'm um, trying to do is I'm trying to join up two particular columns inside of my um, date table, but I'm making sure I put a, I want to put a comma, I want to make it quite customized, I want to put a comma um, with a space in the middle of it. So all I've done is I've used combined values, um, placed in whatever, um, uh, in, uh, like whatever, whatever delimiter, del delimiter, sorry, I just uh, <laughs> forgot what that was called, but uh, uh, the, the right delimiter, and then whatever month and year you want, okay? or whatever values, okay, it's pretty pretty simple stuff. What you can also do, and this is where I think it uh, <coughs> probably has a better use, um, is you can actually create, you can cr use, utilize this within calculated tables. So what I've done is I've gone um, up, up in the modeling ribbon, I've gone new table, and then all I wanted was I wanted to create a brand new table with my with a specific and unique um, column here of information from my dates table. This column, this particular column, the exact way it looks here, that does not exist currently in my date table. So I haven't, um, I haven't got this. Uh, you, I mean, you get this in the, you could set this up in the query editor, for example. But in this, in this particular case, I haven't. So what I've done is I've said, okay, well, give me a list using distinct of all of the unique months and years from that particular table, okay? Then uh, also I wanna bring in the index number because I also wanna be able to sort, I also wanna be able to sort these correctly, right? So if I didn't bring in this index, because I, I already have a month and year column in my date table, but I just wanted to create a, a different one, a different looking one to that, um, but I also knew I had the index as well. So if I brought that in as well, then I um, can know that I can sort this correctly. Um, and then I might use this in my model. Say I might, um, I might, um, for some reason, I might want to put it up as another lookup table on a different layer. Um, you know, there's there's some potential for uh, for this to be used. And you maybe if you have some budgeting information and you want to be able to, and it's monthly information, maybe you want to filter it um, via a table here rather than using your date table. A lot of these, a lot of these, um, a lot of these techniques. As I work through them, I realise that there's always other ways that you can do it. But that's the great thing with Power BI is that there, there are multiple ways of doing things to get the same results. Um, and sometimes this might be a relevant one for what you're for what you are doing. So, um, a good use of of uh, instead of using you know, sort of concatenate, you can actually utilise a, a function. You can, uh, which which sort of simplifies the logic that you're that you're writing, or the or the, the way that you write um, uh, that that concatenate. So it's it's kind of like the divide function. So instead of using the divide, you know, um, uh, operator, you actually write divide, which I think is a better way to do it inside of Power BI. It makes your formulas look cleaner. Okay. The last example I want to run through is I want to do it inside of a measure, and I want to show you how you can create a dynamic. You can create dynamic text. Um, by utilizing instead of um, instead of say a you know a concatenate logic, you can actually use com uh, combined values here. Okay, so check out what I've done here. I've I've placed the first month and year in the current context is, and so I've used combined values to return two particular um, elements from my date table separately. Okay, so the first thing I needed to do, and this is what this formula is doing here, is it's working out what the min, month, and year is. Okay, now I can't just go and go min, month, because what happens is it goes and finds the first alpha, uh, month alphabetically. And so basically what I've done here is I've said, okay, go and find me the first short month, but 
work out what short month is the first month by working out what the min month is numerically and then filtering the date table for that first particular month so it's always going to be January in that case if you have a year selection and then I can just go min short year uh, from the date table as well and so you see I've basically just joined up these two particular columns um, but it's it's more dynamic now so when I in a measure and when I so when I select a different year here that uh, that particular logic updates and that combined values Okay, so short and sweet today, but uh, look, this is a, this is a, this is an interesting function, a good one to use in many different ways. To me, it's it's all about simplifying um, or, or making your making your formulas just look that much more um, intuitive, really. So, uh, so you know, I'm I'm always big on making things really simple um, and really intuitive in all aspects of your work inside of Power BI, and this is just another good example or nice clean function that enables you to bring information to um, bring information together or text values together uh, quite effectively okay uh, if you enjoyed learning about this one just throw throw a video a like always appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise DNA TV lots of lots of great content coming out to you very soon